Michelle Cove is here. Um, I am very excited. I saw our profile of um, Michelle and her work with her nonprofit Media Girls um, on WBZ in October. Um, and I do what my wife, you know, often kind of chuckles at me. I just randomly Google these people and say, you know, hey, you got a great district, you have a great school, and you know, your message really resonated with me, you know, as a father. Um, and I believe that if you were able to come in, you could really um, teach all of our parents and you know, the students something um, from the message that, you know, again, really resonated with me. I do want to thank Michelle in front of all of you for coming to um, Blackstone Milver or coming to Blackstone. I often tell our visitors, especially when the sun is out, you know, take a right at the cows and, and you're there. Um, true story, she just told me, you know, she had a little time to kill, so she went to, I won't name what convenience store, but she walked into the convenience store and sure enough, you know, the person behind um, or the clerk said, you're new in town. <laughs> says a lot. A pants. I think I gave it. <laughs> it says a lot about you know our our towns of Blackstone and Millville and why they're special. So I want to introduce Michelle Cope. And I am really excited to be here. Um, you can tell because I busted out of my black and gray winter gear that I've been wearing all winter. I am convinced that this purple will make spring happen faster, so you're welcome for that. And it's really nice to see, I was going to say some older and younger faces, but I'll say some younger and then much younger faces. But I thought I would start by telling you a little bit about my background and how I got into media girls. Um, and then we'll make it again more interactive and get some learning going. For 20 years, I've been using media to tell stories, and you will not find anybody who loves media more. So in spite of the fact that I see all the problems with it, to me, there is nothing better to get stories out in a mass way. And that's all media means, is getting our messages out in a mass way. It's not inherently good, it's not inherently bad, it's just a vehicle. And it, you know how we use it is how we use it. burst into tears and she said, I don't want to go outside the locker room because when I stand together in my bathing suit, my thighs touch. And she was eight, you know, and it just, it was so maddening and so heartbreaking and everybody's likes to touch. But again, when you're like consumed with this culture, you start to actually believe that there's something wrong with you and that, that was at eight. And I just thought about all the girls between 8 and 18, and the truth is it starts really around 4 and 5, it goes to way past my age, that the media is hurling these messages at. And I didn't want to be just fearful and angry, I wanted to do something about it. And so my answer was to create Media Girl. So we are a nonprofit program. Um, it's for middle school girls, and we teach middle school girls how to really assess and look at and critique how they're seen in the media. Um, and we go really tight in and ask questions about what's okay, what's not okay. Right? It's not about trying not to be attractive. The question that I always look at is at what cost? And the cost for me is when that is how we define our very worth and our very value based on the looks. It's great to look as you know, wonderful as you look and you wake up and you put some time into it, especially if it affects how you go into the world and how you feel about yourself and your confidence level. So there is nothing wrong with that. My objection is that that, that is what matters about who you are as a person. Volunteering. And this is one of the ones when they ask girls what makes you feel the best about yourself and sort of counteract some of the media. Doing something for somebody else is immediate. And it doesn't have to be this is a habitat for humanity. It could be helping a sibling with homework. It could be helping your parents with something. It could be helping a friend at school. It almost doesn't matter what it is, but doing something outside of yourself that's active for the 
greater good is one of the best ways to build confidence. If anybody thinks of anything that they wanted to ask and not in front of a crowd or a link they want to show me, if you go to mediagirls.org, there's a contact page and it'll go directly to me in the email. I'd love to hear from you guys. So thank you.